So we're in the heart of Keyword K9. This is the dashboard. I'm going to add a new domain and when we add the domain we can set the keywords associated with the domain and then we can track all the important information that we need to be able to determine the likely rankings in Google, how we're doing, the health of the site and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on new domain and then I'm going to put a name in here to remind me of which the website is. You can put a full name, you can put initials as I have, it's your choice. In the URL you put the domain URL, the site, or the specific page that you want to have information for. In my case I'm going to track a particular domain and separately I'll show you how to track an individual page as well. I'm just going to put a couple of uh, keywords for this. I'm going to do weight loss and then weight loss programs uh, just as example keywords and then click on create and what will happen is you'll see that it starts to generate the information. It's actually refreshing it now. I'll explain what the information is in a moment or two. And after a few seconds you'll get some information and we'll go through the columns and explain what they are in a second. Now if you want to look at the keywords for a particular domain just click on the number here and that will open a page that shows you the keywords as you can see here and we will get a desktop rank which generates and updates itself shortly and that will tell you how you rank in this specific search engine and country for both desktop ranking and mobile ranking because they are different now that so many people have mobile devices. If we go back to the dashboard we can see that we have health issues here and let me have a look at the health issues for you so this particular example domain has five health issues so the first thing we notice it's a little bit on the slow side it's not terrible but it's a little bit on the slow side for the page speed mobile support is very slow definitely it's in the red as you can see but at least at least it's usable so this is telling me that I can improve my site health which can lead to better ranking by improving the speed of the page and if I make changes perhaps take out uh, very heavy graphics and so on then I can help to improve the speed and that will in turn reflect in the rankings. I don't have any social links present on the site. These are minor details as you can see but they still need looking at and it's not a secure site it's not on HTTPS it's just a normal HTTP. Google is starting to take account of whether you have a secure socket layer that's the HTTPS thing on a website. Uh, we can see that the term weight loss is rather oversaturated in my domain. There's, the phrase appears a lot, so as a keyword it's not particularly a good one because if you use the same keyword too much, Google thinks that's spammy. So this is telling me I should look at that. And what I'm seeing is that I've got some variation of the keyword here, weight loss programs, in the title, but it's not present in the content. And again, that's something I should address. So the health breakdown tells me the things that I need to look at that can improve the quality of my site and in turn improve the rankings that I have. The index pages tells me that Google knows about 2,213 of my pages. If that number changes I will see the ranking change here as a percentage. It will become lower or higher as I add more content or as pages drop out of the index. And that will tell me whether I'm growing my con content on a regular basis. The KC rank, it's a domain backlinking metric and it's very similar to the old Google page rank and this is a rank between 1 and 10 or 0 and 10 and the higher the number the better. Again we're tracking changes over time so that when you come back to this in a week's time you'll see whether you're doing better than you were. If you're making changes you'll be able to see whether those changes are having a positive effect on your KC rank. Domain authority and page authority are numbers that are provided through a service called MOZ, which is a data collection service. And the higher the number, between 0 and 100, the better. It's really telling us how likely a particular page or domain is to rank in Google. Now, the higher the number, the better. And again, we're tracking it over time. So if it goes up or down, we can see that. The domain authority relates to the entire website itself. The page authority is only for a specific page that we're mentioning. So if we have a specific page, I'm going to add one in a moment to show you, the page authority would relate only to that one page and then the domain tells you the overall authority of your entire site. Trust flow and citation flow are provided by Majestic and these are alternative measures 
to help us gauge how likely we are to rank in Google for our particular keywords. You can see the number here is zero and that's 16, pretty low. But this also tracks over time to see how it's doing, whether the things that you're changing on your site make a difference. And that's a good indicator of, again, the overall health of your site. Social sharing signals here tell you whether you're being talked about on Facebook or Twitter. These are becoming increasingly more important for all kinds of reasons. So at a glance, you can see how your page or your site is doing. If we click on the information panel here, we'll get information about the domain itself and you'll see we have the age of the domain, how much content is on that particular page, nearly 2,000 words in this example, how many indexed pages, again KC Rank Domain Authority and so on. But down here the backlinks and the referring domains, very important measures. We all want backlinks and that's a good way to get rankings, but if you have too many backlinks coming from too few domains, that's a spammy signal to Google. So what we're looking for really is as high a number of domains as possible for a given set of backlinks. So if you had a thousand backlinks and only 10 referring domains, that's really spammy. If you have a thousand backlinks and 850 domains, that's pretty good. So again, this is an at-a-glance indication of whether there's anything you need to be aware of. Now as you add more domains in here, you can search within them so that you can put a partial word or partial page name and then just filter down so that you can see just the ones you're interested in on that particular day because if you have a big list it can be uh, difficult to read all the information at once so if you have a large list of domains use this feature here the search within results so that you can just look at the ones you're interested in in any particular session we also have filters which work in the same way across the entire suite of tools and when you click on the filter tab here you can choose which specific piece of information you want to filter on. So we could look at index pages, for example, and you can see on each of the data points we can filter on them so that we can make a list more manageable if we have a great number of domains and pages that we're keeping an eye on. If you click on the row rather than an individual column, you'll see some extra tools appear here. So we can optimize our keywords, view backlinks, track keywords, and find similar keywords. I'm going to show you all of those in other videos. But you can also see we have a quick metric here for the uh, health issues. We see our KC rank for the site, and we can access all our domain details again here. If you want to go to your website quickly, just click on the domain name here, and that will take you to the website. And it's very quick and easy to navigate around the entire suite of tools. What I want to do now is show you how I'm going to add in an individual page. And again, I can put in a short name here or the full name, whichever I want. This is just for my um, recognition purposes so that I know what I'm looking at. I'm going to put in, uh, let's call it uh, Atkins page in this example. Get the URL. I'm just going to paste that in. So I'm now going to be tracking this specific page. And I'm going to put Atkins as one of the keywords and Atkins diet and Atkins and sugar. Let's create that. And again, this will now go off. Keyword K9 will do some analysis for me. It will take a few seconds and then I'll get these metrics and we'll have a look at those when they appear. So now we can see that that page has six issues. The KC rank, domain authority and the page authority are showing. In this particular case, that specific page has a page authority of 15 a zero trust flow and an 11 citation flow. Those are not particularly good numbers. I need to work on that page to make it better. And I'm getting no social sharing at all. If I click on the details, I can see the details for the page, 2,378 words and no backlinks at all. That's one of the reasons it's not doing particularly well. So this certainly needs to have some backlinks created. This is a great way to find out what you need to do for individual sites and individual pages. At a glance, you can see the kind of metrics that you need to know about. So now if I click on the row of either of these, I'll get these tabs and I can have a look at the backlinks for a specific page. Let's have a look at the backlinks we've got for the first one. And as you can see, it's completed the domain for me. I'm going to look at the last 60 days because that's fresh information, but I could look at the entire historical information if I wanted. Click on create report and pretty quickly what it will do is tell me how many links I have to the domain in this case, or if I'd put the page, it would be to the page. So I'm seeing a link count here of a seven. Let's just have a look at that information. 
Now this is particularly important information because it shows you the number of links, how many domains it's coming from, how many site links I'm getting, the unique class CIPs. That's a very low number. A low number of unique class CIPs is another flag to Google. So this again is telling me that I need to get more varied backlinks. I've got no edu domain links, education domain links, no governmental agency domain links. Again, I could improve my ranking by getting links here. So this particular block of information very important because it's showing me there's quite a bit I have to do with my backlinking. The anchor text breakdown is showing me the terms that are used to click onto my site. And this is only appearing in a couple of places, but that's fine because it's the domain name. And then other phrases are appearing here. The more anchor text that I have, the more clickable links, the, the more that will show here. And I can make sure that I'm not using the same keyword over and over again, which again is one of those red flags to Google. The links that I have are broken down by KC rank, so I'm getting pretty low KC ranking on these links. I need to get some links from slightly higher authority websites. Four of my links are no follow. No follow don't pass any juice from Google. The do follow are the ones that pass on the juice from Google. So I want more do follow links than no follow links, and this is showing me I've got it the wrong way around. I need to be going out and doing some backlinking to get more do follow links. In this section of the report, I can see where the actual links are, the page they're on. I can see the KC rank of the individual pages linking to me. I can see the exact anchor text that's being used. And then I can also see important information about the links on that those sites. So this site, for example, has a great many links, whereas this one doesn't have many for the page. So again, this is the kind of information you need to know when you're creating your backlink campaigns. And once again, we have filters available, as you can see. They work the same as before. Uh, we can look at anything with a KC rank or specific anchor text and so on, so that if we had a great number of backlinks, it becomes manageable to handle those by filtering. In this case, we've only got a small number of backlinks, so that's fine. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. And I know that there were no links to this page, but if I click on here and then view backlinks, we'll get a report. So let's do the um, all data for this one and create the report. Again, it's going to take a few seconds and you can see it's actually working through pretty fast. And as we saw before, no links at all. So this page absolutely needs to have some links created to it. So we're back at the domain dashboard. Let's just click on this row again. If I want to optimize keywords, I can optimize the keywords for that site or for a specific text. So if I would bought some PLR articles or I've written something, I can check the keywords within that article or for a search term query in Google. I'm going to use the URL. So this is actually going to show me the keywords for this page on my site, but it could just as easily be a competitor's site. Now, if you think about what that means, a competitor who is doing well in the search engines must be doing something right. What you can do is determine the keywords on their page that they are using, and then maybe you might think about using those keywords yourself, creating content around those keywords, making topical chapter-based content. Let's do the find keywords and just have a look at what comes out for this particular page. So we've got a whole batch of things here, as you can see, and I've got advertising on the page, which is where this is coming from. We can filter the words. Let's just have a look at long tail phrases uh, with at least three words in them and minimum, minimum word length of three letters. So let's just have a look what we've got now. Well, in this case, it's uh, none, so I'd need to filter it out slightly more. And so now what I'm seeing is words like, uh, phrases like fat loss and mood, interesting one. So there's a number of things here that I'm interested in. This one, for example, and I can find similar keywords to this just by clicking over here. So that's completing this field for me, and then I can explore related keywords. We're going to look at exploring related keywords in a separate video, but as you can see, once I've identified some keywords on a competitor's page or my page or on a piece of content, I can then find similar keywords very quickly just by clicking this find similar button here. And I can do that for any of the keywords that I'm finding. So back at the dashboard, let me click on this row again, and I'm going to track keywords in this case. And I've got a whole batch of keywords here, as you can see. So we'll look at this in more detail in the next video. 
but you can see that we can track pretty much as many keywords as we like within the credit system and we get good information about where we are, we can track for different countries, we can track in different search engines and so on.